So the ability choice mod got an update, and for those who don't know what it is, basically as you can see here, it is a mod that changes tower abilities to be quote unquote permanent, but in exchange have a weaker effect. I actually made a video on this several years back, but since then, well, there's been a lot of changes. And to be more specific, this update actually comes to the heroes. Now the heroes have all their abilities become permanent, so we can now be lazy and not have to worry about ability timing. So let me just like drop a Quincy over here, a Quincy. As you can see, the ability is gone and it's just replaced by a permanent ability, which is just increased attack speed. Wouldn't really have it any other way, I guess. And that's why I feel it's fitting that we enable every single hero for this challenge, because I obviously want to see, well, how, how, how they work together, or just how each individual one works without having to join a new game every time. So, Sada, for example, is very uh, predictable. Sada throws blades on a target balloons that stick on the track and can pop lights. What's interesting is that she now got rid of her animation. She just... It just instantly flies with the sky and then drops down. Pretty, pretty cool looking. The only problem you see with dropping every hero at once here is that they're gonna share XP. So, the more I get, they're all gonna be like level 7 by around 100 at this rate, which is why... I'm gonna need a farm, I'm probably gonna get an Energizer to uh, save money in terms of upgrading all my heroes. But the cool thing with Monkey Dodge is that you start every hero immediately level 3, so... I think I might as well just drop all of them immediately for a solid damage boost. So, which one's next? How about Obin? Permanent Brambles, anybody? Don't mind if I do. Uh, it would've been better to put him, like, way behind the track. So that we can use Obin as a spike factory, but... It is what it is, so this one just creates a 50 uh, spike Bramble. Sounds about right. You know what? I would love if they did to Ocean Open what they did in Battles 2. That is, allow him to be placed on water because it makes no sense. Ocean Open, guys. Water. It was right there all along. Actually, when you think about it, it makes sense, though, because heroes aren't different in this game. Hero alts, they're only skins. So, never mind. I, I can see why it's only in Battles 2. What hero is next? No hero. Farm. I don't know. Let's try to see what a, a, a permanent Adora ability can do. So, further increased attack range. Every third shot has bonus power and damages all balloon types. I see. So, that sounds about like what you expect. Also, look, take a look. Only at level 6 for these heroes, and we're struggling. I feel like we should just drop, like, some sort of damage that would hold us through. Sure. How about, like, a, just an air burst? We know that's solid. I am probably going to need uh, more for this round. Let me just quickly drop Striker so we get an occasional stun, which I assume would be the case. Nice. So yes, occasionally shoots a shell at the strongest balloon on screen, stunning and damaging it. And I would assume if I go for Pat Fusty, I will get a permanent, or not a permanent, but an occasional plus one damage. Let's go ahead and drop it over here next to the sub, because plus one do really well on it. And yeah, it occasionally lets out a roller. Rallying nearby monkeys to pop one later for a short time. So it's certainly still an ability. It just activates it for you, which is actually kind of, well, worse. Because I would rather save that for a good time. But it does seem like overall, the percentage of time it would be higher than if you had to activate it as a, an ability. Which again is like completely fair compensation for, not, for you not being able to control where you want your abilities can be. And now let me just see if I can... Uh, these are missing the, uh, Monkeyopolis Unlucky. Let's fill in the top side then with some more heroes to help out, shall we? So, Churchill, what does he do? Every third shot, same with Adora, becomes an AP shell that can pop black balloons and does extra damage to Rams. Uh, considering his main ability is pretty weak, we shouldn't really see... Uh, he's not gonna, like, look much better with his perm ability. Gwendolyn will shoot occasional ho cocktails. Let's take a look. Indeed. Let's turn in the back. Actually, I just realized, not upgrading this thing to a 2z3 means. I can actually turn this one into an Energizer. Should we do that now? I think so, I think so. Before that, I'm still missing more heroes to uh, drop. So, how about Etienne? Gee, we're kind of struggling. So, Etienne launches an additional permanent drone. So, two instead of one. And then, like, five if he had the ability. Okay, who else are you missing? We're missing Brickle. What does she do? She increases the attack speed of all... Uh, Water-based monkeys occasionally, or is it like an ability, like temporary, like pat? Nope. It looks like it's permanent. Not double attack speed, like the main ability would. 
I can't test, but... Again, that's what I'm assuming. All of these uh, ability modifiers have been done so in a balanced way, for those wondering. That's why they're all weaker versions of themselves, uh, if you didn't read the fight point. Benjamin is probably a bad idea, because he it looks like he disables Tower, so yeah. Like, it's just like a, a two-second biohack, and then I know it's like a point... 2-5 seconds to sail, but still. There's a good reason why I didn't drop him until now. Who else are we missing? Uh, Sai we're missing. And other than that, I think it's just Geraldo left. left. Okay, let's officially finish off the game with Geraldo. So, uh, not all of Geraldo's items uh, actually gain the permanent effect. I would assume the shoe turret does. Uh, let's see. Actually, no, but you, you can read here. When Geraldo games new items, I really like how Doom Bubbles made it so that, well, the descriptions change so you can see what exactly is going on. So, like, with the Invisibility Potion, it grants permanence. Wait a minute. Okay, which of these? Well, we already have Dechem with the Energizer, but if you want it earlier, then, sure, Striker. Is out of range of that? That's cool. Wait, so that, does that mean Pickles is permanent? Let's see if we can read here. Well, it doesn't say here for level 1 because the Pickles is linked in with the uh, other level 1 towers. But if we just want to try, for example, on... Uh, what's the most expendable hero? I'll do Obin. Yes, yeah, so you don't see the round number anymore. Nor will you, I'd assume, for the Sharpening Stone. Also, no, the Shooter won't have any ability. Duh, because it never had one in the first place. Maybe not too unsurprising here, but our heroes are, like, struggling. I'm pretty sure the Energizer is putting in a lot of the work in terms of... Cleaning up all the balloons. Uh, so, with that said... I think we should... Probably jump to level 10 and uh, get a nice power spike then. So, uh, I, I do think while well, getting a Dora level would be more efficient because, well, first off, she has that sacrifice ability that gets you. Oh, wait, there's no ability anymore, right? Right, right, right. So, you may pay tribute to a Dora, accruing debt in order to give bonus XP to a Dora, and boost your fire range and rate of fire. Interesting. Wait, this is very cool. If I drag this, you see, I, I start going in debt. Every second I keep this bar high, Adora will gain levels. This is, wow. <laughs> best mod ever, guys. Best mod ever until the next best mod ever comes out, but that, that is, that is really cool in and of itself. Sure, I don't mind going in debt. I mean, it's not like, I thought we were gonna like pay money or something, but this is definitely affordable, given how much I, well, am raking in right now. Like, that's a very clever way to implement an ability without, like, being an ability anymore. So we can see level 10 Adora first. Brings forth a powerful ball of energy to strike down the balloon. Well, that's the same description, I'm pretty sure. But now we have a permanent ball of light that is, I suppose, weaker. Let me try to tone down the sacrifice amount to the amount that so that I don't keep on going further in debt. Right now, I'm minus 5,000. Let's do half that. And we should be able to pay that off. Yep, it's, it's going back. We are paying off our loans faster than we are, you know, loaning or borrowing. So there we go. Pretty much back to normal now. Let's get a Wall Street so that we can make sure we have a nice wiggle room here. And I think Quincy was dropped first. So let's see what his level 10 does. Quincy occasionally fires a barrage of arrows and balloons anywhere on screen. Let's get it and see how it helps out. Oh my, th those arrows are really tiny. This isn't my projectile size being, you know, changed to be smaller. It's just legitimately tiny. Also, you might notice through this cut that the uh, heroes on the right side panel have uh, left the chat. That's because I reloaded the game. Legged a little bit. Let's see which one. Yeah, let's do Oba next. We want permanent wall trees. That's not very interesting, I guess. Also, Adora is already at level 18. Sheesh. We got a couple of these other heroes here. How about Sada next? So... Uh, Sada sends mirages of herself along the track. Devastating balloons as she goes. Uh, how often does this happen? Oh, well, it looks like she can, uh, you know, do that short sword attack while also uh, existing. Because before then, she needed to be taken out of the action in order to uh, do that attack. But now it seems like there's no, like, downside. Pretty cool. What hero next? Well, before that, actually, I should clarify that the descriptions haven't updated over here. I just realized that they put them over here. Shatterstone does not run out, so let's put it on Quincy. And who else? Oban? Oban and Churchill, sure. Pickle, I don't know if it's worth it or not, so I will leave it be. Also, update, a door hit level 20, and what's cool is that the slider is still there, but it's capped at 33. 
Because I assume this is the uh, amount of money you need to put in every second so that you have the uh, strongest effect similarly to if you had to sacrifice like 2,000 a minute, I think. That is what you need before for the maximum like permanent attack speed on a door. Pretty uh, cool stuff. Let's see what Pat Fusty does. Uh, he grabs more class balloons below ZMGs. Uh, so it basically works the same except one, uh, one type of layer of balloon below. You know, maybe a door was a bad idea because now you can't see what <laughs> any of these other heroes are doing. I guess that's why we have a timeout corner. So let me just put a door over here. Let me just do a perma spike too, just in case I die. There we go. I think we can start to feel other heroes actually doing a little bit of the work. So with Strucker Jones here, it actually looks like this ability is almost always better than the ability they had before. Like the actual ability that just simply reset cooldowns. This one having a permanent 50% is pretty nutty if I actually did drop on the towers. It looks like Gwendolyn naturally leveled up to level 10. Periodically emits storms of a fire. Looks like it's on global range. Yeah, just a small mini version of the Firestorm, which is indeed very accurate. Which one did not make it to level 10? Etty and I naturally leveled, and now we have a UCAV that shoots very, very slowly. I think Churchill's the last one. Let's get the barrage. I think we're dying. Well, not if the door has anything to say about that. The door coming in clutch with cleanup. All right, Brickle and Sai here. Let's get Brickle first, I guess. So the Mega Mine will deploy to a targeted location. I would assume, yeah, it only works on, well, I don't know if it works on only mobs, but definitely I would assume it's weaker, a weaker version of it. I wonder how Psy works. Level 10. Silent screams that throw some balloons in other chaos. What percentage though, because the ability usually uh, is like half the balloons. Uh, this has to be like a very small percentage and also not global range. I don't see it affecting anything at all, so I'd have to assume right now it's like a limited range on the level 10. Maybe having 14 heroes do stuff at once is, is hard to see what a single individual hero is doing. That kind of goes without saying. So let's see if this ragtag assortment of uh, hero abilities can take down 98. It's looking good. If anything hits Spike Pile, just consider it a GG. Again, Adora's holding off though. We're good, we're good. Now for 99 here, um, uh, wait, we do have 26 bullets. 26 hits. 62, yep. There's a chance we would have lost lives or maybe even died this round. And let's see round 100 here. Okay, we would 100% lose. If not for Perma Spike. You know, I probably should spend my 177,000. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Also, did anyone see like something got knocked back insane amount? When they turned to... Uh, um, what do you call it? Mo Moabs or Srams? Might have been Pat Fusty, I'm not sure. But I just went level 20 Quincy now. I just spent 100k in that, and uh, let's see. We... It looks like we have more uh, Stoma Arrow uh, Barrages. Uh, which is, well, exactly what the description says. Probably not that great, though. Like, damage-wise. I also forgot one more hero to level 10. Sure, we could do Siphon. Every few balloons get downgraded. That could possibly uh, reduce the RB, the difficulty of some rounds. Why not? Oh boy, Perma Spike seeing even more action. Okay, what is the... What do we think here would be the best tower to upgrade to level 20 permanently? That would give us a nice damage boost. Well, if genies are permanent, then... I should go for genie. Now, I should go for the genie that's upgraded, so can I even afford that? Oh, I'm losing so much money. It's level 18, right? I can't even afford it. Actually, let's get Jerry Fire first. Jerry Fire. Oh, so why did it take so long for me to realize that... The prices are insanely high because they are permanent. Here's a uh, one genie though. Might as well use this time to upgrade the sharpening stones I put I, I put on earlier too, since I presume that is now a better version. Same with the camel pot. Extra DT damage. Honestly, the level 20 versions of most heroes are basically upgraded versions of their level 10. So seeing the level 10. Pretty much gives you a good glimpse of what level 20 is going to be. So I don't think there's a need to get every hero to level 20. Just the ones that maybe differ. Like, for example, Sai at some point gets 100%. Like, with her, with their normal ability also. Am I dead? I'm close to, so let's quickly get Sai level 20 here. Before time runs out. So let's read here. Siren screams hold and damage more balloons on screen. I feel like I'm seeing the effect. But I'm not seeing, like... A lot of loons affected by it. I only see the uh, the normal shake. 
Again, I'm gonna pin this down to being <laughs> too chaotic because we have too many heroes on screen, but we don't have to worry about level 20 anymore. At least on this one. Oh, there it is. There it is. I saw that. Okay, okay. Level 20. I can start seeing the global range shake. I wonder why level 10 and 19 wasn't doing that. But, like, watch that. I don't think it's affecting every bullet on screen, but it's a huge power spike. I also just realized I'm super dead to next round if I don't have enough bad damage so quickly. How about three permanent genies? What else? What else? Crap, I would say... Churchill, but I don't have enough levels yet. Can only get it to level 15. Well, here's hoping three genies is enough. Please. Uh, oh no. It's over. Actually, it's not over because somehow the ZMGs aren't eating up the spikes away because I think we're getting like psionic stunts on them that turn them into vulnerable, so never mind. Good work, Hero Gang. I think the only thing left to see is a date with the round 140F bat, so let's, again, slowly upgrade each of the remaining heroes to level 20. Now, I'm pretty sure when heroes hit level 20, they still split XP, so it's probably, if I want to save a, like, a, a quick buck or so, then let me just slowly even out their upgrades. I gotta say, though, permanent level 20 Psy is uh, putting in work. Three and a half million pops, I believe that's the most of every hero over here. I guess it's unfair for Adora. She's been timed out since... Round 90. Can't really time out Sai and their infinite range abilities, though. Unfortunate. Draldo is also kind of a Chico. I'm pretty sure the power of these genies are not any weaker than the temporary version, only the price, but for 32.4k, it's definitely worth it. These genies are are, are are worth way more than that price. Okay, we're one round away from 140, and somehow I still feel like I'm way too poor. Let's just again get the important one. So, level 20 Brickle for sure. Mega Might's insane damage. Uh, definitely level 20 you cav. Uh, even though, as you see, permanent. It's still very slow shooting. What else is good? Level 20 Churchill, yes. Level 20 Sada, not really, but we have to prioritize Sada. Or she'll kill me back at home. Um, there... Yeah, if I... Okay, let me just sell the rest since I believe... I don't want to go further than this. Just finish off everything in level 20. This, this. And come on. Do all level 20 permanent heroes have the DPS for this? Wait, I forgot to do a Zeely this entire time. I'm such an idiot, guys. I knew I was missing one hero. My bad. <laughs> I just realized I probably angered slash annoyed a lot of people who have been screaming this entire time in my ear, <laughs> too. That I missed uh, a Zeely. Again, it happens, that's all. Plus, this would just make it really trivial and thus more boring. You know what I mean? Like, I'd assume Azili will eventually trigger Hex. I believe that's the Hex, yes. However, the Hex doesn't last permanently, so okay. Not not an auto-win, like I thought it would be. But hey, at least I got myself before the end of this, so... We uh, can actually see uh, if we can beat it, and we do, we do. So that answers this question, and looks like the Totem is also permanent. I'm not sure if the attack speed is also the same, but very nice. That is all. If you guys want to see me maybe go back to this mod, because as I mentioned earlier, there's been updates to uh, not just the heroes, but also the main towers. That I don't think I cover it the first time around, so maybe that's worth giving a go. And also a great time, because I think I, uh, I've died. 142. Yeah, and that's all. I enjoyed the mod. Hope you guys did too. See ya.